Canada has a list of 34 critical minerals that are going to be essential for the future prosperity of the country. Canada has all of these, but we don't really know how much. I actually found that the Prof Pegmatite is the first significantly lithium mineralized pegmatite ever found in British Columbia. Pegmatite is a crystallized molten rock that contains elements that typically don't like going into mineral structures. Historically, there hasn't been that much pegmatite exploration in BC because people didn't know that there was any lithium mineralization there. Dr. Breasley has come up with a way to evaluate pegmatites that might look barren on surface but have lithium mineralization at depth. This means you can get an early stage prediction without any drilling necessary of whether your pegmatite contains lithium minerals or not. This is a very rapid fire way that you can assess within a large area whether you have a lot of lithium mineralization or whether you have small amounts. Any way to improve the efficiency of exploration is going to lead to more discoveries of these critical minerals that we need. Open source is high priority for us so that people can use our research, companies, prospectors, that they can get it immediately and other scientists can get it and use it immediately. This research is so important because it has opened the door for exploration for lithium bearing deposits within British Columbia. These deposits will help us source the minerals that we need to make these batteries, which are vital for the green energy transition that's going to happen in the future. I can guarantee almost every single day you would see a lithium operated car on the streets of Vancouver. There are other technologies under development, but none of them are going to replace lithium in the, in the near future. So if we're going to go to a green technology future to combat climate change, then we're going to need more of these critical minerals.